At any rate, is this really a place for someone to live? So now it's time to steal Kamashita's heart. Well then. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Keep it together, all right. Sleep. I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me? Sure. Sure it is. Yeah. Oh. It may be crowded, but it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could get put it to good use. Maybe. Depends. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried the every drug in the pharmacy, but none works. Do I have some new virus? Well, that's not Is good. this the onset of, the, of a second breakdown? What, what should I do? Am I going to die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something and I'll fix you right up. I Doctors see. have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that lady, that one customer back in LeBlanc a doctor? Do you have a cold? No! No. I just thought it might be nice to have some strong medicines used in the palace. You know, maybe. Morning. Yo, morning, man. What are you doing here? Let's head to school together. I mean, it's right there, but whatever. Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout of school, right? Don't text now. We're in class. Oh, you mean you actually listen to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout of school? Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can we we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come up once school's over. Gotcha. I'm gonna find you if you're late. Hey, hey you salsa. Listening? You pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel murderous intent. Ow! Ooh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> Hit him right in the forehead. Pay attention. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. <sighs> Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. I can dodge that shit? Bro, what? Uh... Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in Might there. be a shorter stream today, by the way. Got some new things. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, We'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Oh, we do. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. You got it. Can I talk? <sighs> hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribed the medication after a quick examination? She's sitting in the booth. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us hey. out. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Where's my map? Uh huh. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Uh, I should be honest. How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? 
Well, I guess that's the only choice we we'll have. We'll make something up. We just have to go for it. All right. Well, Languid Doctor. Is this your first visit? Mm, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, black. Hmm, well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? My body feels lethargic. I've been having nightmares. Fine. Please head to the exam room. Oh, the nightmares got me in! In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Whichever. How about a stinky one then? Just kidding, there's no such pill. Why don't we stop beating around the bush? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Sure. Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. True. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too. Huh? Uh huh. Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. Oh, sick. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. Hell yeah. This Give is the drugs. my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Sounds good to me. You're a bad doctor. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Why don't you come with me and find well, out? Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. You know, you can just, you can just go with me and find out. This is all I got right now. Okay, which one? Oh, okay. Uh, Take care. Aha! What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stub a cake, athlete's foot, whatever it is, I'll be, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this. You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it, it's a drug so potent it can give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only cause a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? Just, I'm just a quack. Police may not uh, be taking action soon, but I imagine the media will pick up on it. There's not a pause now. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <laughs> what's, uh, what's with the look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal action. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Te Takami will never. Oh, hey, somebody there! Hey, are you there? Man. They almost caught us. Sounds like they were really talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? If we could use that, I yes. agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at a place like this, or at the palace, not a place like this. All right, let's come back when that man is here. We should involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? okay. Anyway, great work. That went really well. Beep, 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 beep. So you know the store I mentioned with Model Done? It's in Shibuya. I can go with you if you want. Sounds good. Sweet. Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, right? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check out the place for me? 
You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we'll get this. Well, see you in Shibuya, Minnie. I'll be in the front of the station. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Let's go home! Okay. It's going really smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on that palace. That's where we'll find where the real fun starts. Got it? All right. See what time it is. Okay. Shoot. Looks like you made it. The shop's on Central Street. We got to go through the crossing to get there. The crossing? That's where uh, we call the Chibia Crossing. It's a huge intersection with people crossing the street in every direction. Once we get past that, we'll pretty much be at Central Street. Let's go. All right, let's get going. You didn't have to fall over Yuji. What will you do if you lose him? Once we cross. Are you. Okay, I guess I don't this have to follow him. Twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. All right. Central Street. Should be a station in Central Street. Hey, nice jacket. Follow I actually me. really like his jacket. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Hey. This way. This is it. Pretty legit, huh? Place looks sketchy. Right. To be honest, it's a bit scary to go in alone. Anyways, let's check out what's inside. Oh yeah. Uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. You can now quick travel to the airsoft shop. Air air airsoft shop in Shibuya. You know what you want yet. You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. Get fucked, Ryuji. And you, looking for something? That's something looks real. Oh, you guys planning a nice big bank robbery or something? That ain't it. We just like how they look is all. Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Hey. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. We hate the cops. We'll be careful. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. 
I want to get to the real good stuff. selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally got to go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. 5,000 yen! All right. Uh, come again. Hmm? You going home already? Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll have you do the choosing for now on. Give me the strongest looking one. All right. Boss, did you hear? Apparently, that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. Oh. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. God damn. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Oh. Jeez, what a pain. Oh. What do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. A business. Doesn't concern you. Fine. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. The model of yours? No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. No, that's fair. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. Yeah, you're right. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. You got it. What the hell? Wow. Beep, 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 beep. So, I went to see Shiho in the hospital. How was she? Condition is stable. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness, though. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah. She'll get better. I know it. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamashita. He's going to pay for what he did, no matter what. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Let's clean this up. I'm not in the mood. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. You can now create infiltration tools at the work desk. Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. Nice. I'm the greatest. Guts, kindness, charm, knowledge, and proficiency. This is one. This is more than the previous ones, I believe. We should be ready now. I don't remember proficiency. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Interesting. Yeah, because it was just sleep. charm, knowledge, and, uh, well, in three it was charm, knowledge. I forget. I don't remember. Hey, look at sleep time. 